Hey Libra, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle, and I'm here to deliver messages for your April 2021 relationship reading. Thanks for being here. We're gonna keep this short. I pulled two cards here from the thought, one representing you and one rep representing the other party. So what I need you to do is think of a person and whoever comes to your mind first, trust that that's who this is about. You know, this that's what the messages are regarding. So, yeah, go with your gut, my dear Libra. This is you, you are the queen of cups, awesome. Let's see who they are. Who are they? Oof. Who are they? Bottom one. Ah, sticky. Okay, we get the four of swords. I've been seeing this a lot. Perhaps you're dealing with um, a Pisces or a Capricorn, okay? Anyway, this has just been coming up so much today. Um, we're also gonna pull one from the Sunlight Oracle deck to explore sort of the dynamic here. And boundaries, do you guys know how many times boundaries have come up today? I think three. Wow, okay, wow. Okay, we're gonna start with you, Libra. And I wanna acknowledge that uh, April 2021 is very well a, a, an emotional, time uh perhaps like a lot of emotional stuff has been going on for you i'm hearing like with family um friends of course and within yourself but you uh, you know emotions hmm, make you uncomfortable but i'm hearing that like there's been a real mastery of those emotions in the past six months or so um someone who has learned how to lean into emotions and how emotions signal to us you know uh what what the appropriate behavior is or what it isn't. So just wanna say, like I see you, I see that you have been um, evolving and you're actually arriving at a level where you're much more comfortable expressing your emotions and also understanding emotions of others. I think that's really beautiful. You, I don't know, I'm getting like just a real sense of enlightenment and wisdom on your part for understanding how why people act the way they do and how they act the way they do and maybe that's what's led you to kind of <laughs> my YouTube channel here on <laughs> tarot cards, but um, that's that's lovely. You might actually be more openly expressing this side of yourself now too, which may have increased your popularity. You know, like some people love to be seen and people love to be heard and when you authentically can see and hear them, that makes you likable, you know? People start to kind of flock to you because they're like, she sees me or he sees me and or they see me, um, you know, and with that, this is where I'm going is I promise I'm going somewhere is where the boundaries have to come in because the queen of cups and the energy that surrounds you very much this month is one of a mirror and people love looking in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? And you have this capacity now where you have perhaps gained some popularity or people, you know, you like that people like you. I mean, who doesn't like that? And so when people come around and start to use you as a mirror, mm -hmm, it starts to become a habit for you to just like directly reflect back to them their feelings. That's, you know, you might be a counselor or a therapist or something. Um, that's a, that's a quality that many therapists and, um, even just good friends, good listeners have. But with that, that's a great responsibility for now yourself and protecting yourself and making sure that you are actually living authentically and not just walking around as a mirror reflecting to everyone what their feelings are. So that's why I get boundaries here for you is like way to go Libra on like elevating yourself and your understanding of emotions in the world. But just know that it comes with great responsibility. So this other, per this other person here that I'm getting truce, it feels like maybe you're on actually, you know, truce, like on the heels of a conflict um, with them. And this kind of comes as a warning to say like, it's it's great that you're working, like perhaps you've resolved a conflict with this person. Could be a fellow Libra even, <laughs> uh, or also a Virgo I'm hearing, but it's great that you've worked on the conflict resolution with them. However, um, do you think that it is 
the, the question for you is like, was the conflict re re resolution meant to be temporary or long lasting? Because if it was just meant to be temporary, I mean, yeah, you guys are doing great because this conflict is going to, if it was only meant to be temporary, please trust it's coming back around again. You know what I'm saying? So if you would like to uh, avoid that conflict coming back around again, not being temporary, but having more long lasting solution, um, it's going to require boundaries. It again, I never suggest to empathic and emotional people to like kind of crank it down, like turn down your emotions. It, that's not what I'm saying. Boundaries are actually keep feeling your emotions, keep doing your thing. And ha like, th these are gifts that you were given, you know, um, as a human being, but protect yourself. Protection is a really common theme. It looks like in relationships for April, 2021. Um, because it re relationships are exchanges of energy. When you when you communicate with this person, you get a little piece of them, and when they communicate with you, they get a little piece of you. And the thing, if you're a visual person, the way that you should look at it, and it might feel to you, is that when you have an exchange with this person, they're actually taking a lot of your energy. And you're maybe only taking a little bit of theirs, and the little bit of theirs that you're getting is actually more like anxiety and, um, a feeling of depletion. Every relationship is an energy exchange. Okay. So really this is an inquiry for you Libra to look at not even just this specific relationship because it seems kind of minor in your life, to be honest, but all of your relationships and examining how much energy am I is being taken from me and what energy am I receiving in return to kind of replace and replenish that energy. And if they aren't equal and if it isn't fair, Libra, Boundaries, one option. And also, I mean, a boundary can be walking the hell away, like getting out of the situation altogether. So, you know, this is a lesson that is super common <laughs> for empathic people. And I just think April, 2021, it's really whatever the energy or whatever's going on astrologically is really causing em empaths and deep feeling folks such as yourself Libra to really learn how to um, use that as a strength and not you know be a victim of energy vampires okay super important but Libra that's what it, that's the the message for you one of boundaries one of like self-respect and really seeing how your emotions and your maturity and your wisdom are gifts okay don't just give them away freely you know what I'm saying